forgiveness is just something that we give up, right? I give up my right to be right in this situation. And I hand this person over to, to the Lord, the just judge of all of the universe. When there's an injustice, it's that I can't undo those things. I cannot undo all of those um, events that have happened to me because of that. And without divine intervention, I'm never going to be returned to my level that I was at before, uh, before I ended up connecting to that person or that circumstance, an opportunity for you to get justice. Okay. It's an opportunity for you to get recompense for that thing or, um, uh, that, that situation or circumstance that was done to you, something that was taken from you. It's an opportunity for you to reclaim that quiet, your surroundings, quiet, your internal dialogues. God, we just come before you boldly before your throne of grace, knowing that you have already made provision for every single thing that we need, knowing that every single prayer has already been answered in heaven, that it is yes and amen. And we come before you not as beggars, not as paupers, but as children, as righteous heirs, alongside of Christ Jesus, knowing that it is our right and your desire, your will for us to rule and reign over everything in our lives. And we come today to seek a righteous verdict from you, the one who holds not just the world, but the, the heart of kings, the gavel of judges in your hand. Each of us is in this intensive today because a wrong was done to us. We've had injustice done to us. We've had things that have warred against your perfect will for our lives. And we are here today to rectify those things, to bring those things before you, to partner once again with your word and your will for us, to set the crooked things straight to make the high places low. So one by one, we just lift up the names, the circumstances and the memories. God, our accounting system here is far less than yours. We saw the fruit, we saw the words, we saw the outcome of the intentions of people's hearts, but you saw the heart. You saw the things that have gone on inside of that person's heart and mind to come up with that final decision, those final words, those deeds that were done to us. We ask that as we bring these names before you, as we bring these circumstances before you, that your great grace, your perfect judgment would come in and fill up the gaps that we don't know about, that you would bring to your mind the perfect accounting system of heaven for each of these events that you would have weighed the intentions of the hearts, that you will issue just, just verdicts on our behalf. God, we thank you for your swift judgment, swift justice, swift movement in these cases, that no matter how long or arduous this journey has been for us, that today is our day of justice. Today is the day of recompense. Today is the day that you download your plans, provisions, and blueprints to us, that you show us the next step forward, that you reveal your great love and favor over us, that you look at us with your face, that the beams of light from your face penetrate every dark, every um, hard, every heavy place in our lives, that those things melt in your presence. Your glory washes away the effects of these things and instead gives us, gives us the recompense that is due to us. You knew that we would face these trials before we ever got there. You had already planned to give us recompense. And so God, we just come into agreement with your intentions, your thoughts, your plans for us, the good plans that you have towards us, the thoughts of prosperity that you have towards us. We come into agreement with those things today.